My name is Rhapsody. Welcome back to the Hearthstone Solo Adventures, specifically in the Boomsday Project, The Puzzle Labs. Just about time here to get on with the second secret one. All right, so it's mirror. Fair enough. I hope these aren't as difficult as the... Well, never mind. I, don't, I, I hope that some of them are as difficult as some of the ones in the lethal wing. I just hope it's not as difficult as the one in the final part of the lethal wing. Having a look back at it, apparently my first attempt at the full North Shear clear was almost correct. I feel like a lot of those things are going to be, like, almost correct. Wookie dokey. You're so lucky you get to gaze upon the true perfection that is I. Mm -hmm. What's the card in our deck? Silence, good. Don't know if I want to draw that yet, so. We can draw it with either the hero power or the loot hoarder sacking itself. Probably with the loot hoarder sacking itself, considering the fact that we don't need a loot hoarder to mirror the opponent's board. We do have the Houndmouse Shores. That's that's a wee bit of a problem right now. We do have a Taldorum as well. If your deck has no three cost cards, transform into a three three copy of a minion. So we can have a three three copy of any of these minions. And Kidnapper has return a minion to its owner's hand. The only thing that immediately comes to mind is. Like, Taldorum on the Cruel Dynamancer. So that I get another Cruel Dynamancer, because this is Death Rattle. Summon a random minion you discarded this game, and we have the ability to give everything Rush. So it looks pretty clear that you've got to get a Cruel Dynamancer to summon a Cruel Dynamancer. And because you've already discarded one, that'll summon a Cruel Dynamancer. That'll summon a Cruel Dynamancer. So you can charge your opponent's board down. So let's just start with that. Now, do I return the 3-3, three, three, or do I return the 5-5? Five, five? I don't think it matters. Right? Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Return. Dynamance to the hand. We'll off you with soul fire which also draws our silence and then we need the cruel dynamance to sack no but i don't actually have the ability to sack my own uh my own hound master so i do need it to live Th that is to say their hound master to live Gives us Cruel Dynamancer. Cool, cool, cool. So all we've got to do is silence the Cruel Dynamancer before the final run. And because it's being given rush by a different card rather than innately having rush itself, that doesn't get silenced. That's actually a really interesting one because when Cruel Dynamancer was released, I always felt it was like super underutilized. All right, I need to know what both of those are and what's in my opponent's hand. How do I know what's in my opponent's hand? Is there any way I can draw from their hand? Not really. So we've got Archmage Insight. Your spells cost zero this turn. I can shuffle an enemy minion into my opponent's deck. I've also got an Archbishop Benedictus on the field. That's going to be... Oh, I can't attack you. It's going to be a Freezing Trap, isn't it? Yeah, so that I can play the Archbishop uh, Benedictus to steal whatever I put into their deck with the recycle, but I also do need to know what that is. Mirror Entity. Okay, so that's to that's to make sure that you can get a Benedictus on their field as well. Cool, cool, cool. Um, it's okay. Science isn't an exact science. So we've got a Healing Wave that does fourteen. 
I can see we've got an enemy that has 14 HP as well, right? So if the healing wave has a minion in my deck, so that's if I put a minion into my opponent's deck with the recycle, then Archbishop Benedictus it into my deck rather than theirs. No, wait, not rather than theirs. Uh, in addition to theirs, and then I kill your loot hoarder. You'll draw it. I'll have a Benedictus in my deck, which means the healing wave will do a 14. So then I can kill an Ultrasaur. But I'm missing a lot of these other things. Also worth noting is that unless I kill the Hoarding Dragon super early here... Remember, every solution has a problem. Mm. Unless I kill the Hoarding Dragon super early here, I'm going to have a lot of difficulty... Wait, hang on. Casting all of my spells, right? Because I need the Benedictus, and the Benedictus is 9 after it gets returned to my hand from the frothing... Uh, from the frothing... From the freezing trap. So I can't play the Archmage Insight currently. I need at least one coin. I don't want to sack my loot order yet because I probably want it to draw later. Well, let's think about it, right? If I'm using a healing wave to kill one of the Ultrasaurs, then I'm killing the other Ultrasaur as well, right? Because I need to mirror them. If I'm not doing that, then the healing wave is free. I have the ability to Ultrasaur it into my opponent's deck, uh, put an Ultrasaur in my opponent's deck, have them draw it, take it into my own deck, but then then I don't have the ability to play it. That's That's what's... That's what causes the problem. That's why you have to kill them. Right? Because you don't have the ability to play it if you do get it. Fine. Um, well, then it doesn't matter if I ever draw it so I can sack my Polluted Hoarder early. The problem is I also need to find places to sack my other high cost cards right so the easiest thing is like radiant elemental can sack itself against the reckless rocketeer that's obvious Ooh, um you? benedictus gets returned to hand whenever it attacks so that almost always happens first right there's no reason to attack with anything else first obviously i'd be returning that to my hand Sacrifice. so we'll return the benedictus to hand first okay so now we want the hoarding dragon dead but we also want the extra damage left over so that I can kill the Reckless Rocketeer and the Loot Hoarder. We would need... What? So, two, nine... Yeah, okay. I don't even have enough with the two coins from the Hoarding Dragon. I don't know why you have a card in hand. I have no clue how I'm going to deal with that. Like, I, it can't be relevant, right? I don't understand why there's a card in hand. I hope that's not part of the solution, because if it is, I, I don't understand how to interact with it. There's nothing that interacts with your opponent's hand on the board. So back to the sack question, right? It's I can kill one of the Ultra Swords with a healing wave after behind. this is all through, right? So I've got a 3-5. The 3-5 needs to exist at the very least until the final step. So I've got a 5-2 and a 4-2 that I can sack. I've got a 2-3 that I can sack, but... I mean, I can sack the 2-3 early. That's actually worth noting, right? Because I get two coins from the Hoarding Dragon. Mm. So I recycle one of them. I kill the other one. I could Radiant Elemental into the Reckless Rocketeer. I could then Polluted Hoarder into the Hoarding Dragon. No, that doesn't work. Am I distracting you? The, the ordering doesn't work because the Benedictus will need to be played before I kill the Hoarding Dragon with that ordering because the Hoarding Dragon is enough to kill the Arcanine, so I need the Arcanine on board while I have the Healing Wave. Which means that it's incorrect to kill it with those minions. Well, I could use the 4-2 and the 2-3, right? 
Then I get my double coin. I coin once. I play... Uh, sorry, I don't coin once. I Archmage Insight. I double coin, right? Because there's no reason not to at that point. I'll just have 10 energy for the rest of the turn. Um, then I recycle the Ultra Saw. So Hoarding Dragon and Ultra Saw are off the board. So are uh, Radiant Elemental right. and Polluted Hoarder. And then I actually have the ability to sack down with the Ice Rager, right, against the 2-1. And the Arcanine can kill itself against the Reckless. Okay, I think... I think that's the win. It does involve drawing with this out of order and nothing to do with the opponent's card in hand, so... And the only reason I can sack the... the Radiant here is because Archmage, Archbishop rather, is going to cost nine. So I don't need the buff from it. So now I need to put an Ultra Saw on your deck. Then I need to copy your deck. Then I need to make you draw so that you don't have the exact same cost in deck as I do. That's it. So that's why... That's why I have to make you draw there. Then we can kill this, then trade across. I'm not gonna tempt fate. I'm not gonna tempt fate. Tempting fate would be to at this point mention that it's 11 minutes and I've killed two of these puzzles. I mean, make them harder. That would be tempting fate. I'm not gonna tempt fate. Oh God. Hey, boy. How can you copy me if I don't even know what I'm doing? Think mm. about it. Okay. So, Gloves of Mugging, this is from Dungeon Run. So, it's the ability to steal three cards from the opponent's hand. We've got Naturalize, so destroy a minion and have the opponent draw two cards. So that's probably just got to be card removal, right? Because making them a draw doesn't mean anything. We can't put anything in their deck right now, can I? Oh, I can swap decks with my enemy, give them my deck, and then make them draw it. Also got Benedictus again. So if I made my opponent have a deck, I could... Oh. Boots of Haste and Archmage. So minions cost zero this turn as well as spells cost zero this turn. Ooh, Unless there's something in my deck or in their hand, because their hand is accessible because of the gloves are mugging. Unless there's something in my deck or in their hand that interacts with spells on play, then it should be correct to just Boots of Haste and Archmage first. And if it is correct to Boots of Haste, Archmage... Uh, sorry, Boots of Haste, then Archmage first, uh, I... Actually, the only way to access my own deck at the moment is to togwaggle and neutralize, uh, naturalize to give my opponent the cards. That's annoying. Wait a second. They all have to be the candle. They literally have to be, it's right? Because otherwise the darkness can't wake up. Results are guaranteed. Unless one of them's the darkness and there's no candles in there. I'd put three candles in my opponent's deck, but I... The naturalize is to force them to draw the candles from us playing our darkness. How do I get a copy of darkness? Because it's an untargetable, right? Have a look at it. That, that, that's not a valid right? It's untargetable, so I can't just like somehow take their faceless and then copy it. I need to know more elements of this puzzle, so I'm gonna... That's Magma Rager and a Magma Rager. So they're both Magma Rages, right. Yeah, I guess failure is an option. Is there any reason I would want a Magma Ranger? Because if there isn't, then the idea here, I think, is that I... Don't know what. Is that I make the opponent discard both of them? Now, the easiest way to do that would be... To fire blast the Howl Fiend. 
And if I want to do it while clearing the board in particular, I Fire Blast the Howlfiend, a card gets dropped. I Toxic Arrow the Diamole, it becomes poisonous. Then I Betrayal the Diamole, which does another damage to the Howlfiend, drops the other Magma Rager, kills the Howlfiend. Uh, the Diamole also... No, the Diamole doesn't die there, and I've lost access to my own ping, so... That's actually probably going to make it difficult. But then I could vanish, throwing back a Faceless Manipulator, a Diamol, and a Novice Engineer into their hand. And then it's literally just I need to get a Darkness. How do I get a Darkness with that? No, I don't need a Darkness. I can kill your Darkness. So I just need to draw, and I can draw off of that Novice Engineer that I steal out of the opponent's hand with the Gloves of Mugging after I force them to drop both of the Magma Rages. So, okay, everything's covered well, there, the except for that, how I kill my own uh, my own Novice Engineer after I draw it, uh, after I get it into hand after the Gloves of Mugging, right? Because I will have used by that point the Toxic Arrow as well as the Fire Blast. If I don't use the Toxic Arrow, then I can give myself like a four, a, a three quarters chance to win. All right, let's actually, let, let's try this. Let's try this, okay? Your spells cost zero, minions cost zero. We'll ping you. Betrayal there. Mm -hmm. Put all minions in my opponent's hand. Gloves of Mugging. Got the Novice Engineer. Use the ping. Didn't use the Toxic Arrow. Got the Novice Engineer. Good. Like novice Engineer draws. Yep. Candle. It's gotta be Candle, Candle, Candle. Then I Toxic Arrow my own and I naturalize yours. That could have got super overcomplicated with a Togwaggle and a Benedictus. Right? Yeah, it's done. That could have got super overcomplicated. I think there's actually probably a secondary solution there using the Faceless Manipulator, using... Oh my god. The Ray of Roasting, a weapon of devastating power. Super handy at a picnic. Okay, there's a lot of different intersecting elements here. What's this? Boom in the box. Stealth, death rattle, deal 100 damage to the enemy hero. So we need to either take control of that or... Well, I mean, we have a Malganus on board, so we're immune currently. We need to be immune when this dies. There's an Aviana on board. Your minions cost one. There's also a Glinda. Minions in hand have an Echo. So if I could get a copy of both of those, it looks like I can only get one though with the Prince. No, 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 I, get, I can take the other one with the Shadow Madness. So I can Prince Taldoram the Aviana, and I can Glinda, I can take Glinda with Shadow Madness. So that's seven energy investment, but I would be able to play Coon as many times as I want. Whoa, no, it's easy. We have a death speaker in hand. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Uh, no three cost cards will become a copy of Aviana. Yeah, because then we take this. We make our own minion immune, right? Because Malganus is now immune, they're going to live until the end of the turn. The boom in the box does nothing to me. So I coon for Mana Crystals and then Ray of Roasting. Because it's 10 damage to all minions 10 times. So it'll kill everything except for my, except for my Malganus. <laughs> you suck. Oh. It'll kill everything except for my Malganus. Oh. 
problem. Yeah, Malganus uh, lives. There's actually no way to kill my Malganus there either. Nobody's perfect except me. It's my worst flaw. If I'm not even duplicate playing Death Speaker and Coon, why do I want Glinda? I shouldn't. I don't get it. Uh, so if, oh gosh, why have I got a treachery? Let's think about that. It could be a trap, but let's think about it for a moment. Why have I got a treachery? Is there any way that I can put the ticking abomination onto their field and blow it up early before I ray of roasting? Not really. It's the other order. It's the other order. We take Glinda first because the minion we're copy uh, copying is Prince Taldorum. All right, we've now got a Taldorum. So we can play Taldrum as many times as we like. We can play Taldrum on Malganus because it is your other demons have plus one, uh, plus two, plus two. So if I do that two times to Malganus, this becomes a 13, 11, which means it lives against the first ray of roasting and then dies to the second. And we have enough energy to do this because we do that twice and then we coon. I am a turtle. It lives. I'm still immune. That was really quick. Holy shit. Holy crumbs, I mean. That's 22 minutes. <clears throat> Much better than the <clears throat> previous three hour video. For the moment though, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Hearthstone Puzzle Labs in the Boom Dang Project. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.